do Americans come to Nigeria when they are running an election? No. Do Kenyans come to Nigeria? I will not go to any country. I'm a Nigerian, and I'm running to run to to serve Nigeria. Why would I go and lobby anybody? I'm one person who says, if I'm in office, we will stop foreign aid because we don't need it. God gave us everything. We don't need to waste anybody's time. I said it today when I was in when I was in we city council. Nigeria have everything it needs to be a super country. God gave us everything. I don't need to go and lobby anybody. We we'll need just need to fold our sleeves and walk. It's as simple as ABC. Nigerians on social media are asking the question: Where is President Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Well, the president was last seen attending the World Economic Forum in Saudi Arabia on Sunday, April 28th, the two-day forum, which aimed at helping public and private sector leaders address shared global challenges, ended on Monday, April 29th. The presidency, however, has not released any statement on why the president has not returned to Nigeria. This has led to speculations in some quarters that the president may have proceeded to Paris, France, where he has traveled to several times, reportedly for his medicals. Well, in the meantime, Nigeria's Vice President, Kashim Shatima, departed Abuja for the United States on Sunday to represent President Bola Ahmed Tinubu at the 2024 U.S.-Africa Business Summit. Well, according to the Vice President's media aide, Shatima will join other political and business leaders from Africa, the United States, and beyond for high-level dialogues, networking sessions, and plenaries. The summit will take place at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center in Dallas, Texas. Okay, Dr. Abati also, I heard you this morning asking, where is the president? But you're not the only one asking. Everyone is asking, where is the president? Let me take this tweet from Ngozi, who wrote, the president is not in the country. The vice president, too, has departed from the country. Which kind juju be this? Who is running the country? No responsible country in the world will have number one and two out of the country at the same time. Nigerians are in for a long ride. Well, there is no official statement at this moment uh, about uh, the president's whereabouts, but you know, there are reports from uh, sources um, in the State House saying that he is probably on a private visit to <laughs> France. Rufai, go ahead. I mean, it's a very apt question. Yeah. And we shouldn't be great by rolling. You know, because everybody blamed Buhari when they would go on his trips and all of that. So where's President Tinubu? Mm. He went to Saudi Arabia. Isn't it enough that they give us fake false announcement as regards a Musk deal from Saudi Arabia that they have all debunked and cleaned off their social media now? And now, the vice president, too, is out, so two of them are out at the same time. So who did they leave the home front for? The villa is empty. And that's why we need to be able to ask this question. President Tinubu was not around for his first May Day. He keeps talking about the right of workers. Who would have thought that his first May Day should be as symbolic as May 29? So he's probably going to come on May 29 and say, fellow Nigerians, right? But where, where was he on May Day? And... President Shatima has to go represent the president now. So why are we doing this to ourselves? So we should ask the question. Until today, I'm sure the, uh, the presidency will not react. Maybe he will stay for about a week or two, or maybe he'll come back this week. Whoever knows. Well, I, I because, spoke with our state because house Because they always do the 21-day yeah. clause. Right. And that's right. why they can get away with this thing they get away with. Yeah. So what did Adeswa say? Adeswa said that he may be back tomorrow. So let's hope that he'll be back well, tomorrow. Well, come but, back. But, you know, has, but just, he wouldn't I mean, tell I like us where he went tweet. in six days, right? I, I, that tweet, really, I don't know. We can address this later. That tweet about the vice president and the president leaving the home front at the same time, I think it is quite the story. Describe the state of health care in Nigeria. Uh, thank you so much, Chess, again. Let me clarify and redirect this to, the, to Nigeria. Mm. Nigeria's healthcare system is no longer in crisis. We have a president now, President Bola Metinubu, that believes a healthy, a healthy nation is a core to harnessing our biggest asset. And that biggest asset is our human capital. 
President Bola, Tinubu, Bola, Bola Ahmed Tinubu has done so much for us in the healthcare sector. We, we've pieced in together, we're overhauling, we're jigging, and we de we're developing our healthcare sector in its entirety. So it's safe to say that it's still in crisis, it but you're no, working to get it out it of crisis. It is no longer in crisis. Unequivocally, our healthcare system is no longer in crisis. And well, let me tell you yeah. several reasons why that sure. it is. If you look, we came in, there was a big uh, problem about Jaffa syndrome, people migrating out, going to the, going out of the country that we have, crisis in the women resource crisis. Well, what have we done? We've attacked this in multiple areas. We have a multifaceted approach. We've increased the number of people enrolling in uh, schools, healthcare institutions, studying medicine, pharmacy, medical laboratory uh, uh, science, and medical laboratory science, and all over. So we've doubled, we've doubled enrollment. As we're doing that, also in nursing, we've increased. From when we came, we inherited about two, we, about 25,000 students were enrolling into nursing school. Today, we have about 68,000 students enrolling in nursing school. And before the end of this year, we'll be enrolling about 110,000 students in nursing school. Remember, we have a population of 220 million. Mr. President has said it over and over. We have to leverage this increased population to our advantage. We need to produce more, overproduce. We know people will go, but as we produce more, more people will stay. And as we now continue to fix our healthcare system, people will come back and we're beginning to see that. This is, people are now reporting all the price part in our healthcare system. Today, we actually we have reverse medical tourism. Go to Lagos, go to the hospitals in Lagos. People are coming from India, from Sub-Saharan Africa, even from Europe to come and get healthcare in Nigeria. The, the surgery, getting uh, surgical operations are cheaper. Today, you'll be glad to know that today we have almost 900 um, aesthetic um, uh, offices, hospitals all around Lagos, all around Nigeria. People are coming to get plastic surgery. Is that people in the private sector or the people in the private medical sector or people in the public sector? People are coming, even in the public sector, go to look today. A cancer center, the National NSIA Look Cancer Center has the state of the heart equipment, whatever you can get anywhere in the world. They have linear accelerator, they have everything there. People are coming from sub-Saharan Africa to get cancer. Yeah, but that's in Lagos. What about the rest of the country? And that's it. We're moving all over the country. If you see, and it, 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 this is not limited Lagos, no. We're even going to the rural area. We've dedicate, we have dedicated funds. If you, if you hear about that SWAP program, we're aligning what we have in the, with our basic care, care provision fund, mm. which has more funding now. With our development partners, we're aligning more, we're collaborating more to direct these funds to our, our, our primary health care centers. We're also directing a lot of this fund to our national health insurance agency to increase coverage. Mr. President has mandated us that we would, we should increase coverage today from about 7 million to about 50 million people who have health insurance. We're working on taking to FEC how we're going to overhaul our current national health insurance uh, agency to increase, to meet the Mr. President's demand. He wants 50 million Nigerians to be covered in the next two to three years. And we have a have a plan to get that accomplished. Right. And well, beyond that, uh, okay, sure, yeah, go ahead, finish your that, the point we need to know, this two this president, this is the best, this is the highest number of budget we've had in healthcare sector in almost 24 years. We have, Mr. President worked with us to give us the highest budget allocation to the healthcare sector in 24 years. We have more money now to invest in improving infrastructures in our right. hospital, buying state-of-the-art equipment in the hospital. And if, you, if you're following the news, Mr. President just approved building of six new more additional cancer centers in each of the six geopolitical zones in the country. Beyond that, nine more new diagnostic centers will be built on top of what we already have. So we are moving. Our healthcare system is moving along now. A lot of changes. If you ask people in the healthcare sector, a lot of changes have happened. Positive, good, real, sustainable change, uh, changes are happening. So we are not in crisis. We might have inherited crisis today. Our healthcare will stabilize our healthcare system. Right. We are on the on the path, we are on the trajectory to sustainable, uh, sustainable, durable healthcare system. Right. That each and every okay. Well, let me ask you this. 
Would, is the president now getting his health care treatment in Nigeria? That's a good question. AK, seeking AK is personal. It's well, your personal it's, choice. It's, it, when it comes to the president, it'll, it'll restore confidence, wouldn't it, if he were to stop going abroad let me for health care and do it here let in Nigeria? Let me tell you something. I won't uh, disclose personal presidential information in public, but the, the president is getting some of his care in Nigeria. And I can tell you that. Right. On the, and, and, uh, position to say, so I have that privilege. But I, How would you describe the state of health care in Nigeria? When I get small money, my brother, save them. <laughs> save your money. The hunger went there, this period. Eh? <laughs> if you like, you just make small 500,000. The person who is hungry to go meet Nayemoli. <laughs> you see that bay rock parking space I beat my chest you can follow those people they help people park motor two days later save your money buy gari buy beans, buy rice keep for wardrobe they cook and they chop no go make small money say you money I see focus buy gari Buy rice, buy beans. When I get small money.